Today, we have 32 quarterbacks competing to be the king of the hill. The rules are simple. We'll draw a contender and spin this wheel to see how they'll be competing. The winner will remain on the hill and the loser will be eliminated. Last quarterback standing will be crowned king of the hill. And taking on our 2022 NFL MVP, who's currently king of the hill, Patrick Mahomes, will be Kenny Pickett. We have everything from QB-oriented competitions to popularity contests and much, much more. But our first competition is going to be a survival of the pocket, the longest alive total time of three attempts. Now, there's something I haven't told you. For each competition, I'll try to predict the winner. If I guess correctly, I'll get to add any player from the losing quarterback's roster to an empty team, where at the end, we'll be trying to sim and win a Super Bowl. If we lose the Super Bowl, I'll be giving away $100 worth of Xbox and PlayStation gift cards to you guys. Merry Christmas. For this first one, I've got to guess Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he is our reigning MVP. As soon as I snap the ball, the clock will start. And as soon as Kenny Pickett goes down to the ground and the play is called dead, we will end the stopwatch. Go. But remember, he can't leave the pocket. He has to sit in here. We'll be calling the same plays against the same defense. And we're at 5.43 for his first attempt. Go. He's sitting in the pocket. Not much of a pass rush here from the Bengals. And he's going to go down 10.72 after two attempts. Go. I'm going to try to use pocket awareness here. Step up when it's warranted. Pickett's doing a great job on this one. No Bengals pass rush. This is a long time he's surviving. There's a good chance he could take down Mahomes. And he ends up with 21.16 seconds. Now it's Mahomes' turn going against the same defense here. We'll start on the snap. Ready, go. And let's see how long Mahomes can survive. Same play calls. Got to stay in the pocket. Can't leave the pocket. He's going to go down on his first attempt at 6.85 seconds. Our second attempt starts now. Mahomes drops back. Deeper drop. He's going to step up, but there's a man chasing him, and he goes down 12.17. He needs eight seconds here to beat Kenny Pickett. Attempt number three. This one's going to have to survive for a while. Ready? Go! Mahomes, our current king, our NFL champion, our Super Bowl champion, MVP goes down at 17.61. And just like that, Mahomes, our reigning MVP and current king of the hill, is eliminated by Kenny Pickett. My guess was incorrect, meaning we don't get to add anyone to our roster. We're still empty. And now we'll go to draw our next contender with the crane game here. It's going to be Washington Commanders quarterback Sam Howell. The battle of the mid. This one should be interesting as we're going to head to what looks like it's going to be a fullback dive challenge. It's a best of five. Each quarterback will be placed in at fullback and given five attempts to score touchdowns. Whoever scores the most touchdowns at the end will remain on the hill. The other quarterback will be eliminated. This one's tough. I think it could go either way. But my prediction's Kenny Pickett. We'll be taking this from the five-yard line. Sam Howell is first first up on his first attempt and he does not get in he gets stopped on the goal line 0 for 1 attempt number two sam howell tries to dive over he's in that's one for two attempt number three here goes howell he gets tackled short attempt number four you're running out of tries here howell he leaps into the end zone two for four getting three here would be huge that's going to be tough to beat on his fifth and final attempt He's going to try it again, but he gets stopped short again. He finishes two for five. Now it's up to Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett's first attempt from the five-yard line. He had more space there, but he gets stopped. Not a good start for him. 0 for 1. Attempt number two. He's going to try to dive and get stopped at the one again. He needs three to win. Two for the sudden death tiebreaker. And he fumbled on the goal line while trying to dive over. He has to get both of these in a row or he loses and yields the hill to Sam Howell. And he doesn't get it trying to dive over again. Kenny Pickett is eliminated and Sam Howell sits atop of the hill. I'm 0 for 2 on picks right now. We got to fill out a whole team. This is not good. And our next challenger against Sam Howell will be Deshaun Watson. I know he's injured. Some of these players throughout the video will be injured. I tried to go with the highest overall quarterback within Madden to try to keep it fair with who the actual starting quarterbacks are. And spinning to see what their challenge will be. I just love the variety on this wheel. We're going to have a lot of very, very interesting challenges here for competition and this one's going to be head-to-head -head game sim whoever gets the most yards at the end will win since the browns have such a rush heavy offense i'm just going to assume that sam howell wins in the passing yard department but i don't know if they'll actually win the game and although the score here won't matter there is another challenge on the wheel that will be who can win in a head-to-head -head game i'm very interested to see which quarterback is able to pass for more considering the browns have a pretty rush heavy offense so this challenge 
might not fit Deshaun Watson's strengths here. As the score ends 38 to 24 in favor of the Commanders, I gotta assume Sam Howell won. Howell finished with 255, but Watson finished with 288 despite them losing by a lot. Now I'm 0 for 3 on picks. We have added zero players to our roster so far, and I need at least 22. Our next competitor, as determined by the Crane game, will be Kyler Murray from the Cardinals. Now I'll add Kyler Murray here, but this needs to be a little more accurate. Let's just uh, shrink him down to like Kyler Murray size here as the king, as the potential king of the hill. I also love that he had some sort of bangles decor on his uh, on his head there. That was fantastic. Apparently, he wants to play for the Bengals, and he wants out of Arizona. This one is going to be an entire season sim. The most touchdowns win. But we'll be randomizing a fantasy draft for this, so it's not entirely dependent on just who has a better team. My prediction for this challenge, as I'm already 0 for 3, is going to be Kyler Murray. The challengers have just been winning, and I've got to keep riding that train for right now. It looks like Kyler Murray ended up on the Chiefs, and Deshaun Watson ended up on the Jaguars. The Chiefs wide receivers are Chris Godwin, Joshua Palmer, and Jamison Williams. And the Jags have Tyreek Hill, Darnell Mooney, and Sterling Shepard. With Tyreek Hill and Deshaun Watson together, I'm regretting not taking him. So we'll sim ahead to the playoffs and whoever ends up with the most passing touchdowns wins. <laughs> Look what a fantasy draft could do. Mac Jones finished with the most touchdowns, even though that doesn't matter. Whatever name we see here first, it's going to be Kyler Murray with 35 touchdowns. And Deshaun only finished with 28. Kyler Murray takes it home, and we get to add the first player from Deshaun Watson's Browns to our empty roster. There's really only one player that comes to mind with the Browns, and that's the absolute monster beast himself, Miles Garrett. And just like that, we're up to a 45 overall with the addition of 99 overall Miles Garrett. And taking on our three-foot-tall Kyler Murray, we'll will be Ryan Tannehill. Gonna go with Will Levis, but Tannehill's a higher overall in Madden, so I wanted to keep it fair to Titans fans. And the challenge that they will be taking on, we are not removing these from the wheel as we go, so we can repeat some challenges, is going to be a test of arm strength. We drew the longest throw. So I'm gonna obviously go with Kyler Murray. This could go horribly wrong. After backing up to our own end zone, we're gonna be throwing from the goal line. Just wait till our receiver gets way down the field. Kyler Murray's gonna release the ball. Throw it as far as he possibly can, and it looks like that lands around the 32 yards. So that was a total of 67 yards in the air. Now it's Ryan Tannehill's turn as he's going to do the exact same thing here from the goal line. Wait till our receiver gets all the way down the field, and then he's just going to launch it up. And that did not look as far where Derrick Henry caught it. It looks like the 38-yard line. Even though Derrick caught to jump that, I don't think that ball's getting to the 32 in the air. So that's Kyler Murray's victory. He is staying on the hill, our first survivor through another challenge. And I got an accurate prediction. So we're going to get to steal a player from the Titans. The Titans' best player by far is Derrick Henry. I think that's the only possible option for us to steal. We could go with DeAndre Hopkins or Jeffrey Simmons, but I got to go with the powerhouse. And it wasn't Tannehill, but who will be the man that will attempt to dethrone Kyler Murray, it's going to be Kirk Cousins. And spinning for the challenge that both of these players will be competing in, the Coles chain wearing man himself. This is going to be a throw on the run sudden death. And it works as a sudden death. So if one player gets it and the other doesn't, the first player will win. If they both get it, we'll keep moving on until someone fails. Throwing on the run is kind of Kyler Murray's specialty. So my guess is going to be that he's our winner. And on the first throw, we'll be running boot over and he's just going to try to throw a touchdown pass here. The first one's perfect completed. Tyler's going to roll out here. Same thing. Throw to Y and this one's going to be completed as well. On to round two. Out goes Kirk Cousins on the run. Throws this to Y and he's going to miss the throw. All Kyler has to do is complete this pass and he takes home the victory staying on the hill. One pass Kyler. This is all it takes for you to stay on the hill and stay in this competition as he's going to throw it to Y here. He gets it. Completed. Kyler stays on the hill and down goes Kirk Cousins. I don't really even have to think about this one. Of course, we're going to add wide receiver Justin Jefferson. No one else is even close on this team. Hawkinson, Daniel Hunter, doesn't matter. Who will be able to dethrone Kyler Murray? This is not what I was expecting is Tua is going to have a chance at it. And I feel like Tua would have won that throw on the run competition. But of course, that's just Kyler Murray's specialty. So this next one is going to be a very interesting challenge, a non-quarterback challenge. It's going to be the longest punt. I got to say, Tua is lucky we didn't draw the longest throw challenge. This is a total Total crap shoot. Uh, I guess I'm going to predict that Tua wins because maybe he has the bigger leg over a three foot tall Kyler Murray. I really don't know though. This punt is going to be pretty much impossible to get straight, but assuming it doesn't go straight on the first one. Oh my God. He punted that 11 yards. It looks like 12. Maybe the ball hit the ground at about the 12 yard line. Kyler's kick meter is going up and we're going to try to get it as accurately as possible. Maybe there's a little room for human error here, but that might've beat it. That might've been 13 yards. I'm not sure though. It was 
because he got it to the 13 yard line, he beat Tua by just one yard. <laughs> and somehow, Kyler Murray is dominating this competition. And unfortunately, I guessed incorrectly so we don't get to add a player to our team this is getting bad we only have so many matchups and if i don't start guessing correctly we're gonna end up with free agent terrible players on our super bowl attempt someone's got to take on kyler man now we've got joe burrow let's get some sort of quarterback competition for these two i'm open for something throwing because i think he could beat that nothing speed oriented please okay we've got a head-to-head -head game sim yet again this one is going to be for the most yards most yards in a game my prediction has to be joe burrow there's no way kyler murray takes him down tie ball game the cardinals take the lead again both teams are moving the ball well but we're going to result in a game winning drive by joe burrow that's got to be what puts him over the edge in passing yards i'm just assuming and by a very narrow margin burrow finishes with 248 and kyler finishes with 224 that means kyler is finally eliminated from king of the hill and we get to add a player to our team got a running back i don't really want jalen Thompson, so we're gonna add Buda Baker to our defense. 23 quarterbacks left. Joe Shiesty's challenger is gonna be the Saints quarterback, Derek Carr. And the competition that Derek Carr, the NFC South most boring quarterback in the NFL, will be attempting to take down Joe Burrow with is a season sim most yards win from a fantasy draft. Funnily enough, Joe Burrow actually ended up on the Bengals despite the fantasy draft, and Derek Carr ended up on the Rams. Burrow will be throwing to Mike Evans, Cortland Sutton, and Allen Robinson, and Carr will be throwing to Devontae Adams. Adams, Gabe Davis, and Richie James, whoever that is. My prediction is you gotta stick with Joe Shiesty. No one can bring him down. And to no one's surprise, Derek Carr is not gonna take down Joe Burrow. He threw for 4,400 wow. yards. And Derek Carr only threw for 3,770. It's an absolute massacre, and Burrow stays on the hill. Derek Carr is eliminated. I kinda wanna lock down corner, even though Demario Davis looks really good. I won't lie, but we're gonna go with Marshawn Lattimore. Still so many positions left to fill on our team. Our next contender to try to take down Joe Shiesty will be Brock Purdy, one of the MVP. MVP favorites at this point in the season. I wish Joe Shiesty was still healthy in real life, man. He's so fun to watch. This is going to be another season sim, and it's going to be the best record in a fantasy draft with a tiebreaker being passing yards. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes is on the Bears. There's so many jokes to be made there. We got Joe Burrow yet again on the Bengals, and Brock Purdy is on the Falcons. Burrow will be throwing to Mike Williams, Michael Pittman, and Devontae Parker, and Purdy will be throwing to Brandon Ayuk, one of his favorite targets, Jackson Smith and Jigba, and Sterling Shepard. Until he proves me wrong, I gotta stick with Joe Shiesty. He's gonna be my prediction for this win. And Joe Shiesty got upset. The Bengals went 12-5, and five, but the Falcons went 13-4, and four, dude. Are you actually kidding me? Brock Purdy just finds a way to win. I don't get it. And we don't get to add to our team with that one so we'll just draw our next quarterback challenger who's gonna be my chicago bears justin fields please be something with speed that i know justin fields will win i want it to be the speed one i want it to be the speed one so bad it's not gonna be that though instead it's gonna be first to make a field goal i gotta stick with my guy i gotta go with justin fields on this prediction it may not be right but i can't defy him dude he's a he's our guy our first attempt is from the goal line if both players miss we'll be adding 10 to their kicking stats until one of them is able to make it. If they both make it, we'll be moving the ball back five yards each time. Justin Fields is first. I'm gonna do the best I can to get max power, max accuracy, but when your kicking stats are essentially zero, there's only so much you can do. Justin Fields. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even close. Rock Purdy's attempt here is we get max power and max accuracy, and his was closer but not in. We'll be adding 10 to each of their kicking power and kicking accuracy. Going in snake order, so Brock Purdy will be up first. But perfect power, perfect accuracy, and the ball went literally nowhere. Next up is Justin Fields. I'm trying to focus to get this as accurate as humanly possible. And it's went backwards, dude. Oh no, we've got a long way to go. The process continued over and over until both Fields and Purdy had the accuracy high enough to make a kick. So we started moving the ball backwards. Fields finally has an accurate kick marker here with the stats that he's just been bumped to. So we'll be able to perfectly time this kick and it's good. Same thing for Purdy. He's also got an accurate kick meter. So he should be able to put this through. Although if he misses this competition's done it's up and it's good both players easily made it from both the 10 and the 20 yard line so at this point we've moved it back to the 25 can he sink this this might put this way if he can and he does it hits the camera again which means it's good fields for the kick of the century perfectly timed kick it's up and it hits the camera again. It's good. We'll move this back three yards here now to the 28 yard line as both of these guys are just on the cusp. Just on the cusp. I can't even talk. 
Fields perfectly timed kick. It was perfect power. Will it make it? No, it's short. If Purdy can make it from the 28, he wins. Max power. The kick is up. All it's got to do is hit the camera or go in, and it does. Brock Purdy takes down Justin Fields, eliminating him from the competition, and he moves on. And our next challenger against Brock Purdy is going to be the Seahawks quarterback, Geno Smith. So Brock Purdy against Geno Smith. This is going to be an interesting. It's going to be a popularity contest for this one. Whoever has the most Instagram followers. I'm going to say the younger guy. I'm going to go with Brock Purdy has more Instagram followers than Geno Smith. Brock Purdy's sitting at 774,000 Instagram followers. And Geno Smith aka G money as he likes to put it only has 198,000 so Brock Purdy survives Gino's eliminated on the popularity contest and I guess correctly so I get to add any player from the Seahawks to our team it is only a one season sim so age doesn't matter too much I'm actually gonna go with middle linebacker Bobby Wagner pulling for our next contender here it looks like it's gonna be Daniel Jones the quarterback of the New York Giants also just noticing look at how Brock Purdy doesn't have a face scan in the game I mean his guy just looks so stupid and the challenge that daniel jones will be taking brock purdy on is another popularity contest this one's going to be most popular google search results we're going to google both of their names and whoever has more results with their name will be considered the winner i think i just gotta go with who's been around longer and that's going to be daniel jones for my prediction brock purdy has 14 million four hundred thousand search results and daniel jones has 880 million search results so i was right i went with who was around longer i'm sure brock purdy will get there in no time but daniel jones takes over as our current standing king of the hill. Oh my god, there's so many good players on this team. But since we already have a pass rusher, I'm not gonna go Nick Bosa. I'm actually gonna go Trent Williams. We gotta start building our O-line too. Our next challenger against Dallin... Dallin Jones. Oh my gosh, it's already been three hours. But our next challenger against Daniel Jones will be Russell Wilson. Unlimited. Oh my god, look at how much shorter he is than Daniel Jones. I didn't adjust the sizing of these pictures. <laughs> Besides Kyler Murray. Mr. Unlimited challenging Vanilla Vic for King of the Hill. The challenge is going to be a head-to-head -head game sim the most touchdowns. I gotta go Russell Wilson for this one. I think the Broncos just have a better offense than the Giants, and Daniel Jones likes to run anyways. But if there is a tiebreaker, it will resort to most passing yards. However, the Broncos are out to a 14, 17 to seven lead at the end of the first half. The Giants do end up getting three, and we've gotta have a lot of passing touchdowns in this game, right? What if they both end up with zero as the Giants put up another seven? They have the lead 20 to 17. They actually win the game. This could be a Danny Dimes win. The resulting touchdowns, Daniel Jones, takes it i was wrong in my prediction so we don't get to add a player but i'm just kind of baffled at how bad russell wilson did our next challenger taking on vanilla vic is gonna be jimmy g they don't have his face scan in this game because he's way more handsome than this what challenge will these two young stud muffins be taking on that's what the wheel is gonna tell us here as it looks like we might have a speed challenge on our hands which is gonna be interesting for the both of them they're gonna run the 40 yard dash the fastest time wins of course my money for this one is gonna be on daniel jones that just feels too easy and despite a slow start from daniel jones he still managed to outrun and outpace Jimmy Garoppolo for an easy victory. Eliminating Jimmy G from this competition and staying on the hill. We already have Miles Garrett, but we can put Crosby across from him. I think there's going to be a lot more receiver options, although I love Devontae Adams. We're going to go with our second pass rusher, Max Crosby. Our next challenger is we're about halfway done will be Aaron Frogers. I just triggered so many people. It's hilarious. And if this is a passing competition, it's going to be hard not to choose Aaron Rodgers, although it goes against everything I'm about in life. Life. This one is gonna be, oh my God, the farthest kickoff. I'm gonna stick with the guy on the hill. I can't vote for Aaron Rodgers. I gotta pick Daniel Jones. I'm gonna focus up here because I wanna make sure I get it as accurate as possible. The kickoff animation. The kick is off. And it's straight out of bounds. Ball crosses out of bounds at the 41 yard line. A total of just 24 yards. Same thing with Rodgers here. It looks like his kick meter is not even as good as Daniel Jones. So that's not good for him. Focused up as much as I could. Got the power up. He's went straight. What? His kick was caught at the 27 yard line. A total of 37 yards. He mopped the floor with Daniel Jones. I swear to God, if Aaron Rodgers wins this competition, I'm going to be so upset. And of course, we don't 
get to add a player to our team because I guessed incorrectly. So our next quarterback is Anthony Richardson. I thought it'd be more fun to use him than Gardner Minshew, so that's what we're gonna go with. Please be something speed. You gotta beat the man with the torn Achilles, right? I know Anthony Richardson's injured too. I'm just hoping that Aaron Rodgers gets removed here as we're gonna have a sudden death touchdown from the 15-yard line. Unfortunately, my prediction here will be that Aaron Rodgers will take it, even though I'm, I'm unhappy about it, okay? My hands are off the controller. I will not be playing as this. It's up to the Jets to score as Aaron Rodgers rolls out. I don't think he has anyone, and he gets sacked on his first attempt. We're running the same defense, just a stock cover three with the Texans defense, and it's up to the Colts to try to score here as Anthony Richardson takes off, and he dives down early, unfortunate. Round number two here, Anthony Richardson can score, but then Aaron Rodgers has an opportunity to score after as he doesn't score in, in round number two. And Rodgers can win it with a touchdown here. He snaps, he drops back, he surveys the field. He might have the post, but instead he goes down to the running back, Brees Hall, who can't get in the end zone. Start of round three, Rodgers Rodgers starts with the ball, throws a quick slant. Garrett Wilson doesn't break the tackle. From this point on, we're just doing a random play as Anthony Richardson. Oh my God, he's got him. Touchdown. Anthony Richardson upsets Aaron Rodgers. So my pick is incorrect, but I'm glad to see Aaron gone. With the challenger taking over, his next challenger will be CJ Stroud, another rookie. That's exciting. And our challenge in this rookie on rookie matchup for the king of the hill is going to be another popularity contest. This one's going to be interesting with two rookies, young guys. I'm going to guess CJ Stroud over Anthony Richardson. CJ Stroud has 687,000 Instagram followers and Anthony Richardson has 282,000. We were right on our guess, so we get to add a player and Anthony Richardson has been eliminated from King of the Hill. And the Colts really don't have much of anyone that I want. So we're going to add to our offensive line with Quentin Nelson. I think that's just by far our best option here. And if you're wondering, our quarterback will end up being whoever is King of the Hill in the end. So whoever wins that competition is very important for our team. And our next challenger was still 13 names left to go is Dak Prescott. I've been waiting for this one. Dak Prescott taking on the rookie to try to claim his King of the Hill throne. As this one is going to be almost longest throw. It's going to stay at head-to-head -head game sim. Whoever wins stays. Even though we're going on even teams for this, I still got to take Dak and the Cowboys. I just feel like he's a much better quarterback. The Cowboys are better in Madden. That's my guess. And we've done a lot of these sims, but the score hasn't really mattered besides yards and touchdowns. 14 to 17. I can't even keep up with this. This is a high scoring shootout first half. We're in the third quarter. The Texans regain the lead and the Cowboys take it right back. But there go the Texans 28 to 24. Time is dwindling for the Cowboys. They put in a touchdown and some points and the Texans get close, but they come up just short as Dak Prescott and the Cowboys upset the Texans 38 to 35. And we got it right. So now we get to add another player this time from the Texans to our team. I got a good strong safety. I don't want Ward. I guess maybe we go Dalton Schultz at tight end. We could go Shaq Mason or Will Anderson. I think we're going to go with tight end Dalton Schultz for our pick. But our lone receiver is Justin Jefferson. So we need some more receivers bad. And our next challenger for Dak Prescott will be Desmond Ritter from the Falcons. This one could be interesting. And the challenge that Ritter has for Dak Prescott for him to stay on the hill is going to be a season sim with the least interceptions winning. I'm sorry, Desmond Ritter, but you're kind of interception prone. My pick here is Dak. Dak Prescott ended up on the Steelers. And funnily enough, Desmond Ritter is on the Cowboys. Dak's thrown to DK Metcalf, George Pickens, and Josh Reynolds. And Ritter's thrown to Olave, Deontay Johnson, and Kendrick Bourne. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I went with Dak in this one. Desmond Ritter had a great season, actually, although he did throw 18 interceptions. But Dak Prescott, not as good of a season yards-wise. He only threw five interceptions, though, so he is our winner. Desmond Ritter is eliminated from the competition, and we get to add a player from the Falcons to our team. Comfortable with the left side of our O-line so far, but I would love to have Jesse Bates. He's an absolute stud, so we're going to be adding him to our team and putting him in at free safety. I'm still, at this point, kind of worried about our empty positions because we're running out of quarterbacks, or we will soon and we still have a lot of positions to cover. I don't want terrible free agent players in there. Our next challenger from the claw machine will be Lamar Jackson. We already know any rushing challenge, Lamar is going to dominate speed challenge, but passing challenges could fall in Dak Prescott's lap. So we get a head-to-head -head game sim. Whoever has the most touchdowns at the end wins. Since it's a passing challenge, I think I got to go with Dak Prescott on this one over Lamar. It's most TDs, so we want to see the most points, but that doesn't mean that they're going to have the most passing touchdowns. They could have the most rushing touchdowns. 14-3, to three, so Lamar has 
clearly zero at this point, and the Cowboys are running through the Ravens. They get another field goal. It's 28 to six. As long as Dak has one, I don't know how he loses this competition. 31 to 18. It was closer than I thought it would be. Lamar made a comeback, but Dak takes it. And our prediction was correct. So we get to add another player to our team. I'm looking at Roquan Smith. We could have had Mark Andrews if we didn't already get a tight end. Marlon Humphrey could be really good. I think we're just going to go for Roquan Smith. Our next contender will be Trevor Lawrence. I could be happy with either Dak or Trevor, so I'm not going to be upset with whatever this challenge is or whoever wins it as long as I can correctly predict it, of course. And this one is going to be first to complete a Hail Mary. Oh, fun. This is this is so fun. This works just like our other sudden death. If Dak makes it first, Trevor will still have a chance and vice versa. Dak Prescott is up first and obviously we're just going to launch it in. We're using the Cowboys for both of them, so it's as even as possible and Dak is incomplete. Now it's Trevor's turn if he scores a touchdown here. Here it is over. We're going to throw this. All I'm doing is pressing Y. I'm not doing anything else. And it was incomplete. Trevor's starting up first in round two as we're going in snake order here. Lobbing this one up. Can anyone catch it? Nope. Dak's turn this time is... I'm just going to throw the ball to X every single time so it's consistent. If Dak catches it here, if someone catches it, he wins. Oh my God, almost. A few moments later. Oh my God, it's caught on attempt number like freaking 100. Sudden death without a catch here. Dak will be eliminated. It's the same pass that Trevor's been throwing. Can someone catch it? No one does. Not only did I get my prediction right, but we get to steal a player from the Cowboys and Dak Prescott has been eliminated. And if you're still watching and haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. What are you doing? Dude, there's so many good options. We can get Micah Parsons or Zach Martin. I have to go with CD Lamb. We need a crazy receiver at this point. We only have Justin Jefferson. We're down to just nine challengers left, and our challenger taking on Trevor Lawrence is going to be Jordan Love, the rookie, not rookie, third-year Packers quarterback. And I'm going to be honest, I am not picking Jordan Love for whatever challenge we draw, so I just hope it's something that can go Trevor's way. This one is going to be, looks like another season sim. This is going to be the most yards win in a fantasy draft. Trevor Lawrence is on the Raiders and Jordan Love is on the Bills. He's throwing to Amonra St. Brown, Olave, and Josh Palmer. And Trevor is throwing to Justin Jefferson, Michael Pittman, and Noah Brown. My money's on Trevor for this one, guys. No way, dude. Jordan Love finished with 4,300 yards and Trevor only got 3,700, which means we got our guess wrong and Trevor is eliminated. If we end up with Jordan Love, I'm gonna be so upset. Down horrendous, bro. I can't take that. Please, we need a good contender for Jordan Love. We've gotta take him down. Josh Allen, that's what I was looking for. I forgot we hadn't even drawn him yet. And the challenge that these two fine gentlemen will be engaging in is going to be one of a wide receiver catch challenge. It's going to be a best of five. My prediction for this has to be Josh Allen. It just has to be. I can't go with Jordan Love, dude. If we put both of these quarterbacks at wide receiver. They'll have five chances to catch a ball. Whoever catches the most at the end will advance. The routes they'll be running will be a slant route, a fade route, a curl route, a flat route and a whip route. Starting with Jordan Love, he's starting with his slant route and he's gonna catch the first one. Now it's gonna be a fade route and that's gonna be a perfect pass and he drops the fade route in the corner of the end zone, one for two. Now's his opportunity for the curl route as we're just gonna fire it in there and he catches that one, two for three. Now we're gonna have a flat route out to the flat as he's gotta catch this. He does, he drops it, two for four. And now we've got a whip route. Let's see those excellent route running skills, Jordan. And he catches that one hanging on to it. He went three for five. Starting off is the slant to Josh Allen. He's gonna catch that one, one for one. Now we've got the fade, the pass that Jordan Love dropped. Gonna lob it to the corner, come on, Josh. He catches it, feet in bounds too. Now the curl route. We're gonna fire it as he turns around. He catches that one, three for three for Josh Allen. Two easy routes left, Josh. Just the flat route. Catches it. Four for four. He takes down Jordan Love and stays on the hill. And we get to add someone from the Packers to our team. Uh, This one seems kind of obvious to me. We're going to go with Jair Alexander. Get another cornerback for the squad. I feel good about this pick. With just seven quarterbacks left, our next draw is going to be Baker Mayfield. And he will be taking on Joshy Josh Allen in a challenge of head-to-head -head sim 
most rushing yards as a running back. For this, I gotta go with speed. I'm sorry, Baker. I know you're a power guy, but I'm going with my boy Josh Allen. You know what's surprised with these quarterbacks? It is a pretty low scoring game, just 21 to 13 as we're winding down on time. The Buffalo Bills take it 21 to 13, but who had the most rushing yards? And Josh Allen takes it. He had 73 yards. Baker only had 23 rushing yards. Baker is eliminated. Josh stays on the hill and we get to add another player. We're gonna go with Vita Vea because we've got good pass rushers, but no one to stop the run yet. I mean, our defense is just filled with some absolute dogs, dude. I don't know how we don't win a Super Bowl, but Madden is Madden. I suppose you never know. Six quarterbacks left. Our next draw and challenger will be the rookie Bryce Young. And the challenge that Bryce Young will be taking on after this spin is going to be a season sim the most touchdowns win my money's on josh allen i'm just throwing that out there josh allen ended up on the jets and bryce young is on the browns young's throwing to stefan diggs darnell mooney and russell gage so he's got some weapons but josh is throwing to zay flowers brandon cooks and sterling shepherd ah those are not great receiving options i'm still gonna go with josh allen for my prediction and it looks like josh allen had 31 passing touchdowns bryce young was close at 29 but josh allen and takes the cake. We've got two good corners. I've got some good wide receivers. Got a good linebacker. We need a right tackle. I guess we'll go with Taylor Moton. I just really don't see anyone else that I really like from this team, unfortunately. And that'll help us fill out our offensive line just a little bit more. Only five challengers remain. Let's go middle here with the crane. And our next quarterback is Justin Herbert. And the challenge that he'll be proposing to Josh Allen is going to be another Hail Mary. Oh, great. This is a really tough prediction to make, but I'm gonna go with Justin Herbert winning this one. Same thing with this sudden death. We'll see who comes out on top. Josh Allen with the first throw. At least we've got some really good receivers and tight ends on this team, and no one comes up with it. This time we got Justin Herbert who drops back, launches it to the end zone. Kincaid, can you come down with it? No. Round two, still on Herbert. He's leading off this round. Lobbing it up there. Kincaid right at the goal line, almost. Josh Allen has a chance to put it away with this attempt. It's the second of this round. Josh Allen throws it up. And it's caught! Oh my god, number 16 comes down with it. The Cardinals just jumped way short. My prediction was wrong, but Josh Allen stays in the competition and Justin Herbert is sent home packing. And we still have Mac Jones, Jared Goof, Jalen Hurts, and Matt Stafford left. The next challenger from our ball pit will be Jalen Hurts. And for some reason, he's wearing a Bengals logo because EA just is EA. And they will be competing in a competition of the most popular Google search results. You know, since Josh was a cover athlete and he's been around, I think a little bit longer than Jalen Hurts, he's gonna be my prediction for this one. Josh has 108 million Google results and Jalen Hurts only has 19 million. Josh is just so much more popular according to like articles and all that kind of stuff that goes up on Google. But our prediction was correct. So we get to add a player from the Eagles to our team. Oh, this is so tough. Obviously AJ Brown, but we already have two really good receivers. I'm going to go with Jason Kelsey. Three challengers remain. Our next one is going to be Jared Goof. That's a nickname. I know you guys are typing in the comments already. And he will be competing against our reigning champion of Josh Allen in a sudden death, it looks like. Sudden death touchdown from the five yard line. My prediction for this one, of course, is Josh Allen. We got to stick with our guy here against Jared Goff. After spotting the ball at the five yard line, my hands are off. Josh Allen is being controlled by the CPU and it's sudden death. So if he scores here, which he does and he gets sacked, now Jared Goff Goff has a chance to put this away with a touchdown right here, or he'll go first for the next round as he snaps the ball, he surveys, does he have a man? He's scrambling out to his right, and he gets sacked as well. Not great. First snap of round two, we're going with random plays for the offense and random nickel. Oh, he's got a man! Touchdown! This means Josh Allen has to score on this attempt. If he doesn't, he loses. Are you going to be able to score and push this thing into another round? Are you not going to score? And is it going to be over? He's trying to scramble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! He's short! My prediction is wrong, and Josh is eliminated. As of right now, if this remains, Jared Goff will be our quarterback for our sim. It's either Mac Jones or Matt Stafford, which I would much rather have Stafford than Jared Goff. Sorry. It's going to be Mac Jones first, and he will be challenging Jared Goof in a competition of this one we've already done as well, but it's a very exciting fullback dive challenge. I'm sorry, I really don't want to end up with Mac Jones. My money is going to be on Jared Goff. <clears throat> Jared Goff, that didn't happen. First up is Jared Goff. He's got five attempts to do this. Whoever ends up with the most, of course, will advance. If we have to go to a tiebreaker, it'll go to sudden death. Failure on his first attempt. Here's his second. It looks good. 
He pulls himself into the end zone. One for two currently. Here's attempt number three. Dives over. That's two. Attempt number four. He's gonna try to dive. Gets stuffed. Come on, Jared Goff. We need you to beat Mac Jones here, bud. Oh, we just got no blocking. He ends up at two for five. To keep things consistent, we're going with Mac Jones on the Lions here. Mac Jones gets, whoa, immediately stuffed on his first one. Mac Jones on his second attempt. Gonna try to dive. He gets stuffed again. 0 for 2. Third attempt. Mac Jones, fullback dive. Gets in. 1 for 3. Mac Jones on his fourth attempt. Cuts up the middle. Dives. Gets stuffed early. If he gets this, we go to sudden death. If he doesn't, he loses. Mac Jones here on his final attempt. He's got a chance. No, he doesn't. He gets stuffed. Our prediction was correct. And Mac Jones is eliminated. I'm going to go with Matthew Judon because we have two middle linebackers, but we don't have any outside linebackers. And our last contender is Matt Stafford versus Jared Goof for King of the Hill. The challenge between Matt Stafford and Jared Goff. This is an important one. Who will we end up with? It's going to be a throw on the run sudden death challenge. I'm fully in on Matt Stafford. That's who I want for this Super Bowl sim. So that's who I'm going to predict wins this challenge. This is sudden death. So he'll get a chance to retur return a rebuttal either way as Jared Goff puts it on the money on the run first completion for him. Now it's Stafford's turn as he's going to roll out and throw the exact same pass here. He's going to hit Y. No, in just the first round. Stafford goes down in the first round. He's eliminated. And your king of the hill is Jared Goff. Never would have guessed that in my entire life. After adding Jared Goff as our quarterback, simming to the Super Bowl with $100 of gift cards on the line, here were the results. And just like that, the Chiefs got first place in the AFC, secured the bye, won the divisional round against the Ravens, and then lost in the AFC Championship to the Broncos. Here's a $50 Xbox card and a $50 PlayStation card for you guys. Merry Christmas. Enjoy. And in the meantime, I did NFL imperialism, but it's all legends. The best players to play for every team ever. It was super fun. Go ahead and check out that video here.